Hello human people, it's Vienna and it's time to show up them crimes. So yeah, um, this is a game that I've been wanting to play for quite a while actually, but I've never gotten around to it. As the screen says in very pixelated text, this by the way is as good as it gets. Mm. Um, this game is Kathy Rain, and it's rad, uh, from what I hear at least. Mm. Hello, Pixelim. Yeah, it's an adventure ca game where you are a gothic woman, a goth woman, not a gothic one, that's different. Mm. Goth woman who ends up being a detective. I think this uh, the subtitle does seem to imply that there was supposed to be more than one part, but I haven't heard of any other games in the series. Also, is the music a bit too loud? Oh, it decided to put it back up. Okay, sure, yeah, that's fine. I did, I loaded this game up. Loaded this game up? Is this the 90s? Mm -hmm. Hey you! Uh, hey. Oh man. Okay. What are you wearing? Oh god, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. I, uh... I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and yeah. everything, and yeah, really retro oh, and I wish for proper pixel graphics. Sleep. And get this, his name was Joseph, Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it. I knew you'd know him. Yeah. Do you think we're um? Do you think we're drunk or are we just hung over? Yeah, mm. We're late. Late to error. Oh, uh, yeah. Might be both. Um. Yeah, he is, was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're going to help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Oh, oh! Good night, Kathy. Took me a while to understand what you said, uh, uh, Zanzibar. Yeah, mm. Yeah, yeah, it kinda does look like we, we are some kind of people. It is the 90s! Oh, God, make it stop. This year, I was four years old. Also, die alarm clock, you thing of the devil. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Hey. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. Yay. So getting a Funerals. Movie. Best thing. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Okay. Um, but let's... Let's look around, hmm? Our room phone. 
It's got an external line. Room phone. Uh, um. I'm too young to know what that means. Oh, Titanic. That movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. She tells everyone who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert, the boat sinks. Aww. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. I'd really like to recognize all of these posters. I think posters. that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's every romantic comedy ever. Aww. Just some Gosh, random band poster. Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. Eh. I mean, it's not bad. My electric guitar. Got it cheap from a lesbian I met at a concert. Good times. I can imagine. Mm. Help me get rid of my last two roommates. Oh. Help me get rid of my last two roommates. Okay, so we aren't getting additional nah, information. Nah, it's no fun when there's no one around to annoy with it. Oh. The Thing. One of my favorite horror movies. Oh. The Thing is good. I did like The Thing. We should watch that, uh, Zanzibar. Yes, after we are done with the Star Trek, let's watch the thing. Mm, printer. Color printer. Super fancy, apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Color printer in... 95. Damn. Looks handcrafted. Probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her 12 siblings. I just got an achievement called Procrastinator. Made my best effort to um, miss the funeral. I don't think it showed on... Lean schedule. There's a note for today. Set alarm clock for Kathy. Can't have her miss the funeral. No, 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 no. Um, computer? Let's... Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. I'm no geek, but I know how to use one. Mm -hmm. A computer, that is. Not a geek. I don't know. The way you talked about uh, them lesbians with the electric guitar. I'm pretty sure you know how to use some geeks at least. It's some advanced scanner thingy. It can scan pictures, tapes, all sorts of stuff. Okay. Color printer. Super fancy apparently. A fact which Eileen loves to remind me of. Okay, um, just quickly I'm gonna put the speech up. Because I do like the voice acting. We meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. Kathy, that's not nice. You shouldn't burn other people's bears. Okay. Mira. Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. Oh, you are so 90s. I love it. Uh, I don't know. How long were you gone? Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. <laughs> Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> Ah. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Well, let's go. There's a funeral and everything, so I... Uh, funerals are weird to miss. Oh, we got a... Harley Davidson, I assume. Hmm. We so cool. Oh. Oh, I need to interact with stuff. Ooh. Adventure. Okay. Oh, tiny sprite. Um. We just. Well, here we, we didn't. Are. When we walked here, it just. God, I really need a smoke. Does anyone object? Ah, uh, that that looked really weird Guess when not. we. Dead people rule. Mm, no, they don't. It's. Not really dead people that were, but yeah, when we walked towards the foreground, we just nah. People don't grow that fast when they walk towards something. It was weird. No time for that now. I'm late for the funeral. It's okay. They are gonna stay dead. It says price. Hmm. Huh. A family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. Do they actually make those any... Well, depends of the region you're in, I suppose. Yeah, grandfather's funeral. End of the mausoleum. Now, I, I think I'm gonna save that for another time. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity. A pillar of the community and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Uh -huh. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Hmm. Very nice ceremony. Clap, clap, clap. Um, so oh, where's the Kathy, food? you big baby, just talk to her. No. But seriously, where's the food? That's the best thing about funerals. Food. Hello, Mrs. Rain. Mary Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Why would the food be in the grave? Sometimes, uh, Pixlimp, I do not understand. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, Anne? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. Mm. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Maybe they aren't that Lord, close. how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but... Why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. Hmm. So... Okay. I still don't know what crime we are going to solve. Well, this is like 20 minutes in, so no wonder. But was there a foul play with our grandfather's death? 
coffin is lowered, but the grave hasn't been filled up yet. Hmm. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I wish things could have been different. No. Yep. It certainly is the 90s. I... Hmm. Can I just no go No reason in? to go in there. No. But I wanna... Oh, hello, priest. It's the priest who performed the service here. Let's have words. You don't want to get me started. Let's just say me and the humble servants of God have a history of not getting along. No. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the church... No! Nope. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to nope. run away from the Run, Kathy, run! And what makes you so sure I'm a sinful pathfather? You're not too well close to the pathfather. Um, let's go with the first one. What makes you think I'm so sinful? And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. <laughs> I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Hmm. Well, obviously we can perform some sin. Okay. To the rains. Grandma, anybody home? Um, a red horse? Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. Oh, it's a Swedish horse. Oh, it's one of those things. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. Danish, Swedish, what's the difference? A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. <laughs> nice black leather coat. Right up my alley. Hmm. And time to look at everything. A small table lamp. And possibly touch everything. An old wheelchair. Not too dusty. Probably used recently. Okay. Huh. Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. No. A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. They look younger than I am now. Things have sure changed. It's a photo of this very farm from way back. It says June 12, 1910 in the corner. Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. These should come in handy when I need to make calls. Hmm. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Mm, upstairs, ceiling. A lamp on the ceiling. Nothing special about it. But. Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. No. Oh. Uh, let's go to the living room. Also, oh, we didn't take dear. our boots, so... I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? 
No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Oh. Oh, our families. Mm, okay. Um. Ah. Uh, let's do what I do. Just Mom tell it straight. I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. Hmm. So what about you? How have you been doing all these years? So I guess I've been lonely ever the since mother the was uh, abused. What accident? Mm. Oh when I say gracious. abusive, no, abusive is mm. the right she word, but it brings a strong mental happened. image. Don't know what. I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word, forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Thank you, dear. Oh! Okay, so we are gonna get this kind of note back. Show stun gun! Should we? That's why I'm making faces on my own. Uh -huh. Yep, taste the granny. I don't want to show her that. She'll just start worrying about me. Okay, we are not doing that. Okay, sure. Um, let's uh, just ask about the incident in 81. Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. Hmm. But yeah, what I said earlier, like, I think... Kathy's mom was manipulative. I got that kind of impression. PTSD? Let's go with what did the doctors say. What did the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. Hmm. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. 
Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. Okay, so I guess what we are gonna be solving is what was up with Grandpa. Hmm, interesting. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Hmm, do we have anything else to show? Pack of cigarettes. Church brochure. That might get a reaction. What do you think about this church, Grandma? They seem harmless to me, but they can be a bit pushy at times. Calling it now, huh, they're the bad guys. That. It's Handing a cult. Out pamphlets at funerals is in pretty bad taste. Awfully strange behavior for a priest, I'll give you that. Cult. Exactly. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Bye-bye, Gram Gram. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. I used to be a cat. Oh. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform. Looks to be in his early 20s. Planes, planes, and more planes. Oh, alcohol. Expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. No, no, let's not drink it. A robust piece of wooden furniture. Mm-hmm. There was something else. We can think about it. I used to love digging through those drawers when I was a kid, looking for coins, buttons, and trinkets. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Oh. Mm. Coffee table. Grandma has prepared some tea for us. Mm. Let's look at Grandma Mary again. Elizabeth Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Okay. Well, mm, same thing. Bookshelf. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related, from the looks of it. Oh, a miniature An plane. A toy airplane with moving parts. Oh. I remember playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. Right, okay. There's nothing quite like the soothing sound of rain falling on a window. It looks kind of dark outside, actually. Ah, oh, yes, probably. Nothing in the attic. Nope, nope. Uh... Let's actually I go shouldn't upstairs. overstay my welcome. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <sighs> um to the popos. So Land of the Free. Did they say what state this was in? A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. They did at the very start, didn't hey, they? What's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. Hello, young Popo. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Mm-hmm. Various notices and a wanted poster. A medieval fortress near an ocean. Probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Supposed to be, so... Fax machines. The pinnacle of modern technology. 
It's not a, of a real place then. Oh, that. Hmm. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Hi. Hello. Do I? Ma'am, I'm really oh, quite busy. Oh, so I skipped. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna do what the character probably would do. What I think they would do. Which is admit the truth. You have no clue who the fuck I'm this guy is. Blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? Hmm. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Show him the taser. Yes. Yeah, that won't get me into trouble at all. Kathy! God damn it. What's your opinion on this church? I think it's a nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. Mm-hmm. Cult. Well, gotta go. See ya. It got cult all written all over it. Uh. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. Mm -hmm. Just some Lenny, photo. I can't see it sir. clearly from here. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A uh, gift? Like what? I don't really know your mother. For Christ's sakes, all moms are the same. Just use your imagination. I'm expecting something nicely wrapped on my desk by the end of the week. Okay, boss. Okay. Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Uh, Hello, Sheriff. Uh, Do you have a moment? Not really. Let's make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. Um... Zanzibar, we didn't get to go to the attic because Kathy thought that uh, he sh uh, she shouldn't um, stay too long. And um, it's confirmed that it was a cult, it, that the church that we got a brochure for is a cult. But, like, it was mentioned that um, Kathy was afraid of going to the attic as a child, so it's that kind of suggests that there's going to be something later. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Okay. Sure. Um. Yeah, sure, I'm but family. But I'm family! Doesn't that count for something? 
You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Hmm. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Huh. I feel like I know the voice actor for the popo. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? The law! Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Yeah, fuck you, guy. No one likes you anyway, and you're fat. Just some photo. I can't... Let me go closer. A gold medal of some kind. What's the deal with that bump? Just some photo. I can't see it clearly from here. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. Yeah, they're usually, usually in the cellar or something. Lenny, can you? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. Ah, uh, you motherfucker. Can I just tase him? I don't want to show him that. I don't want to show him that. Why? Offer him a well, smoke. Go. See ya. He's a Looks smoke. Looks like talking isn't going to help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Oh dear. Oh, mm, skipped something. Not sure where those doors lead. I. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Sneaky. So sneaky. I'm up. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Hmm. No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. What a tiny TV. Oh, it's a TV. I thought it was something that was spinning. Thanks. That was getting annoying. Hello, bum. Whatcha? Looks like an incarcerated bum. Whatcha doing? Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Okay. Sure. That was a story I'm kind of glad I heard. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Good. So, uh, 
What am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Mmm. Huh. Very funny. Yeah, well. Um. Yeah. Word to the wise. The best way to actually steal beer is to just walk out of the store. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay. <laughs> Lots of police... Go, 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 go. Okay, let's have a look. An individual was encountered on, on the side of the dirt road a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes wide open. The subject was in, identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond even... Uh, when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder complete with a tape, being, cooperate, uh, being cooperative. Uh, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. Uh, how much later is that? Uh, just 45 minutes later, picked up, uh, picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at community clinic. Mm, the next day, upon routine in... Ah, uh, yeah, that does... Uh, Routine inspection of the patrol car, a tape recorder was found discarded on the back seat. Father's evidence in locker 5. You okay? Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number 5. Got it. Hmm. We are not even that uh, <clears throat> that far in, and we are already breaking the law. Lanny, I need you to do something. How can I help, boss? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, uh, no, 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 I wanna look at stuff first. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. No. Just a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. Too heavy to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else? Something special? Nah, let's just... They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. All right, got it. Oh, a dictaphone. Standard microtape labeled investigation. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. Mm hmm. The tape Grandpa had on him when he was found in 81.
Note to self, remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her attic. to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Interesting. That first part I'm fairly sure was code. Like the one about the perfect bouquet. Hmm. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? No. Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? Oh, how hard do we want to let this guy down um um okay what would Kathy say the lowest I'm one I'm really busy right now maybe later Oh, oh, okay. A See new... Ya. Um... Got another achievement for letting him down in some certain way. The text didn't show completely. Let's go and ask about the attic then. Oh, hello, dear. All right, let's have words, Grandma. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? The attic's on my mind. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. This is kind of a scary attic. Uh, is that the light switch? Yep. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. Oh. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Hmm. Nah, it's drafty in here and almost out of fuel. Gonna need it for my smokes. No. Yeah. The bulb looks burned. Um. Do I have to go downstairs and get a light bulb? Oh, um. hello, dear. Grandma, do you have a light bulb, maybe? Mind if we t Not at all. The lights are out in the attic. Oh, well, there should be a whole box of light bulbs around here somewhere. Do you remember where? Now, where did I put it? Oh, dear, I think it's in the attic. Oh, That's just terrific. I'm sure you'll figure it out, dear. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Okay.
Uh, nothing lights up. You might actually need to use this, you know. Nah, it's drafty in here. Oh, you motherfucker. The bulb looks... Yeah, I can't find a box anywhere. Or anything to interact with. Nothing. Hmm. Is this the puzzle that kills us? Oh. A decent sized. I used to grandpa never a robust. Mm. Okay. Uh. Mind if we? T Not at all. The lights are out. Oh, do you remember? No. Oh, that's just. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I got the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need. Hey, Grandma, do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh, yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So oh! Oh, do, 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 do. oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so absolutely dumb. I've been sh trying to show it to everyone. Now I can show it to myself. Stun gun. Use it. What? You. I don't want to zap that. What? But you could. NZ500 self defense stun gun. Fully charged. <laughs> you could light things up with A girl it. can never be too safe. Well, yeah, that's true. I prefer to smoke out. My smoke's about a half a pack. Started when I was 12 and never looked back. Pretty much the only thing keeping me sane. 12? Well, that, that's really early. I don't get it. Nah, it's drafty in here and almost out of fuel. <laughs> then why not use the stun gun? It would work. Uh... Can I... Oh, right, of course. Take it from another thing. Free light bulb. Score. Yeah. My solution was better. The bulb looks burnt. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, trying to write the next big novel, eh? Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. Mm-hmm. Teddy bear. Mr. Bear! <laughs> How did you get all the way up there? Oh. Good idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kathy Ray, I got another achievement. Reunited with a furry friend. Mr. Bear reporting for duty. <sighs> okay, right. Hmm. 
can't open that yet. A thick book about math. Oh my. Secret, sec, the secrets of infinite numbers. By Arthur P. Gibson. Ah, uh, yellow bookmark. Pi. Fibonacci numbers. Oh, obviously. Prime numbers. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I started talk, uh, thinking about it as well. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. Okay. Coffee cup? Decades old coffee. Lovely. Drink it. Drink it. Uh, yeah. I'm good, thanks. Oh. An old typewriter covered in cobwebs. Mm -hmm. A worn office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. Mm. Okay, briefcase. So, one, two, three, six numbers. A leather briefcase sealed by a combination lock. Um, I kind of like nope, that there's that's... no, that there's so options that you can do anything with, because there's so, there would be quite a bit of that kind of stuff. Uh, dictaphone. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, and... Gotta rewind it, fancy. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting closer to finding the source. I have a theory, but I need help. I'm gonna have to involve somebody else. Right. Yeah, I'm just writing these down quickly. Three, one, two. Uh, not enough numbers there. Oh no, wait. The colors, colors, colors. Yes, 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 yes. I realized it just now. Okay. Um. No, fuck, wrong thing. Which color was which? Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the... Okay. Okay. So... Hmm. I'm... My first guess is that that's the order. So, one blue... Um Hmm no three red uh, 
the problem with the, that I'm having right now is that this has to become a six somehow. Like six different numbers. Yeah, that's true. Although so is this. But which numbers? Like three red numbers, which one to pick? we can try that. I don't think there are more clues. Two, three, five. Okay, let's see if this keeps this. Right, okay. Thanks, Zanzibar. Yes. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I found it kind of dumb. But yay, Zanzibar, you get a cookie. It's a cookie that you can can be anything you want. Because it's all in your imagination. Not very feeling, but you know. A thick yellow envelope. And that was it. Okay. Seemed like there was a lot more stuff, but mm. envelope. It's the envelope I found in the briefcase. Okay. Combine, open. Let's see what's in here. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. A tape? Standard micro tape labeled answering machine. It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. Okay. The tape I found in the briefcase. It seems that it was used in an answering machine at some point. Maybe. I just thought about it in a really hard way. I want that there to be, like, a real, you know, process to it, but it was just, pick the first numbers, hmm. Looks overexposed. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. Okay, I guess we have to find a way to make There's that readable. There's probably some way to enhance this back at school. I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back. Hmm. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Okay. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Hmm. No. It's a small key, fairly modern design. No identifying tag, unfortunately. I wonder what this unlocks. 
Well, let's listen to the thing first. Maybe, yeah. And the mausoleum probably has something going on. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. Mm. I, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. I wonder who this cocky is. <laughs> yeah, we all wonder who cocky is. Yeah, I think the woman in the middle might have been... Our mother? Or Kathy's mother? Oh, hello dear. Hey, Graham. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness. I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. Smiling man does sound like someone who cocky would be. Grams, can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you know anything about this story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember their names? Hmm. Let me think. I'm awfully sorry, dear. I just can't recall. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Mm. Or maybe the angry woman is related to this. Because he wanted to do something about it and then just they took it the wrong way or something like that can you tell me anything about mcconnell air force base it's not very far from conwell springs joseph was stationed there for some time during the war i believe they're still training young pilots there today so when did grandpa enlist in the air force oh it was barely past the honeymoon when joseph left to fight in that terrible war together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried, I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. 
Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he passed. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Hmm. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well... I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Screws? Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh... Not that I know of. Hmm. I don't see a reason to ask her about... Yeah, I figured, but it was blue, so I wanted to. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes! I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. I guess there's nothing else. I don't think we need to discuss that anymore since I've been able to open the brief. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Um, I guess we should head back to... The... Oh, we don't have the option. Because they did talk about, you know, going to the college or university or whatever it is. To enhance the picture. Don't know why I came here, but, you know. Oh. I wonder if this game was ground, uh, crowd, so All right, funded. this is the right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try oh, to get a hold okay. of Oh, okay, we found them. Dead girl, okay. Oh, hello, boy. I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. A little boy, maybe five or six years old. Mm -hmm. Hey, kid. Hi yourself. What are you doing? None of your business. Huh, I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. She dead and she's a ghost? I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. The grave is brimming with flowers. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. Okay. It says, Christ. No reason to go. Right. 
Where is the mom? I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. I know, but there's a road that way. Oh. Oh. Kid? Guess he found his mom. Maybe the kid was a ghost. Ooh. Conwell Springs. Looks smaller than I remember it. I never thought I'd return to this place. I guess it's uh, to the sheriff station next. Hmm, wouldn't really surprise me. Mm. Lenny. Lenny Marks. Sure, he's cute, but no. Hmm, he's cute hey, in the wrong way, in What's my opinion. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, Lenny, could you check the files for a police report? A girl who drowned around here, Lily Myers? I'd love to help, Kathy, but you better check with the sheriff first. Fine, I'll do that. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. It's not a problem that he's... It's not a problem that he's a pretty boy, it's just that he's the wrong kind of pretty boy. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Well, gotta go. See ya! Mm, do you know anything? Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? Young girl named Lily Myers? That case was handled by Truman. I wasn't involved. Who's Truman? I don't need to ask. I don't need to. I don't need to ask. Okay, do I have anything I want to show you? Probably not the evidence that I stole. How about this? What's your opinion on this church? It's a fine church. I go there myself every Sunday. Mm-hmm. He's part of the cult, guys. I probably shouldn't. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? The victim was a young girl. You have a memory problem? I told you I haven't been working here that long. Besides, even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Juvenile cases are a sensitive matter. Hmm. He's new in town. I don't think... I don't want to show him. Why? Show him the math book. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, all for now. that's fine. I forgot to show the key to Gram Gram. Yeah. Well, I didn't ask it too many times. I just asked it... Uh, twice through different things. Okay, Gram Gram, have you seen this key? Oh! Mm. <laughs> eh, I'm a bit sniffly snuffly. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Ugh. Not at all. I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father. Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Whoa, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years.
Truman made an official statement later, it was no accident. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Okay. How about that? Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Bye, Grandma. I'll be so long. Well, let's drive back to the sheriff station. I don't know what else to do. Still raining. Clearly, there's still something we need to do the, uh, during this day. Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kath. Do you know the Myers family? Supposed to live somewhere near the lake? Aren't they the ones whose daughter drowned a long time ago? Yeah, that's right. Might recognize them if I saw them, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it from. Oh, right. Um. Hey, Lenny. Do you Yeah, I remember my mom telling me about that. I was like six at the time, though. Do you remember her name? Oh, man. Not really. I was so little. I think it was something with an L. Linda? Laura? Something like that. All right. I'll keep looking. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Well, gotta go. See ya. Okay, Sheriff, you get Hello, anything? Sheriff. Mind? I don't need to ask. Why? That's all for now. Good. Okay, um... Can I ask the bum? How's your paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, sure, let's okay, go I check guess. the bum. I Maybe don't know what else time. to do at this point. Hey, bum. Hey. Hi there. Ah, uh, okay, no. Gotta go. We See just got those options. No. No, no. Cemetery? Yeah, I'm all at the point where I'm just, you know. Trying any any direction. I feel like I just need to work until I unlock the next day. Bernard Johnson and Blackwell. Oh. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, that might be a reference to another game series that I might play later. Also point and clicks. Also about solving crimes. Hmm. A family mob. It says price. Yeah. I've played uh, three of them, never uh, finished the last one, but I could play them all again. I'm gonna find out what happened. The mm -hmm. grave is brimming. Let's listen to the last thing again. It's really long, but I don't know what else to do, really. Well, I could... Quickly have a smoke. Yeah. Leave a message after the beep. 
Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her first born. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. I'm not sure if the middle one is actually the family of the girl because they talk about coming back and that kind of stuff. Lenny, ah, uh, might be. Um, where should I go? Maybe we could rummage a bit more on in the attic. Not sure if there's anything there, though. Oh, wait, phone book. Oh, I'm so dumb. Of course, the phone book. She's been dead for two decades. I oh, right, yes, dead. Family, right, yes, 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 dead, dead, dead. Um, Charles Damn, Wade. No Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. All right, found an address. Oh God, are we going there? Like face to face? Can we find a cookie? Nope, couldn't find it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course it's the phone book. It's the fucking 90s. All right, got it. Okay. Uh Might want to pick up the handle first. Oh, uh, right. This is how this work. Right, yeah. Just a phone. Five, five, five. One, two, six, three. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. It's been a while, okay? It's been a while since I've used landlines. I know, up north in fucking Lapland, they probably use those all the time, yeah. Mm. 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 What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett oh. Xavier Myers trained at this very base. Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. Thanks for the history lesson. I think we also had uh, one that had the spinning dialing thing. Yeah. Was Myers called the savior? Hmm. Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? 
Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? These guys are really helpful. Just like a random person who calls them and starts asking about stuff. I'm gonna ask about Charles Wade before I go with uh, Maya's people. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Uh, pretend to be a cop. Mmm. Yes. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? Oh. I can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. Goodbye. Damn, I can't pull that off if I call from here. Hmm. Yeah. yeah it's a bit weird. Okay, let's call them back. Uh... McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi. Sure thing, man. Okay, and they don't recognize my voice, it seems. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. But... I don't see a do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Springs citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But I'm positive that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay, what can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about buddy. him quitting. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead, but mm. some say the war broke him. PTSD. Me? I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was his guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. Okay, I guess that's everything then. Alright, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Just a phone. Must be a popular model. We have the same one at the dorm. Oh right, let's call the dorm. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to, but we can. Five five five. Eight three five two. I just want to see what happens. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Cat. Oh, hi. What's up? I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. I don't need to ask. I'm trying to find this guy, but all I have is his nickname, Cocky. Well, what do you know about the guy? Not much. I think he was in the Air Force and served with Grandpa. Maybe you could try to find somebody in the Air Force who knew him then? Yeah, that might be worth a shot. No shit. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh. Must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah. I'm finding that out. 
Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah, could be worth a shot. I don't need to ask her about that. Okay. Okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Yeah, she may not just give us advice at this point, it seems. Uh, what did we learn? Oh, right, we have to call from the right kind of phone. From the sheriff. Oh. Or go to the lakeside cabin. Let's go there first. It's totally overflowing with cigarette butts. Mm -hmm. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Yeah, you can bond with... Uh, Conwell about Lake, that. where Lily Myers met her demise. Bit grim. Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. I don't see the problem. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. I have no idea how much that is. We should have some... Uh, we should have someone in chat who would actually know this thing. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without a good reason. Oh, I guess so, then. Yes? Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Okay. Uh. <sighs> yep, still alive. Okay. Yep. Water in wrong throat. I can see someone moving inside. Okay, so we aren't getting anything from here now, I think. Won't you? She looks pretty annoyed. Hmm. <coughs> then what? How do you say it in English? I don't remember. I deserve a few. What you deserve is a sl. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna tase her. Wait, the catmobile? It's the Catmobile, my custom chopper bike. Plenty of gas in the tank. Uh huh. She was born a 76 Corley Motors, but there aren't many original parts left. Took me a couple of years to make her perfect. I get. I could insist on, you know. That person, but I just uh... oh, the rain has stopped. Hmm. <coughs> it's Lenny's phone. Might be useful somehow. Okay. Lenny, I need you to do something. How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday. Okay, it's just that conversation. <coughs> Like Maybe. I don't really know your mother. Distract. Hey. Hi there. 
Uh, could you? Sure, I needed to puke again. Good to know. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not. Okay. Here we go again. Is there enough time to call? Let's see. This is totally legal, by the way. Okay. Um. Five, five, five. One, two, six, three. Connell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Okay, Charles Wade. I'm trying Wade. to get a hold of Charles <clears throat> Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Yeah? I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. <laughs> I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. What's that supposed to mean? Yes. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what... <clears throat> Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. Damn straight. It's 555-7641. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, I like how she says, buddy. Okay, yeah. Right. <clears throat> right, um. Then let's call it the rain residence, I guess. No need to call at the popos. Mm. Right. Five, 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 seven, six, four, one. Wade residence. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with she Mr. Sounds, Wade. It's about my grandfather, she sounds Joseph Rain. Posh. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. Mm, yeah, but what way? Hmm... No, it. Uh, he oh, has a secret hello. address because he's many rich. Uh, I can try that, but I, I, I think I did already. Ah, yeah, of course. Right, 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 right. I got that number already. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. No. I got that number. I got that number. I got the address already. No result. Nah, nothing. I got that number. I got her fan. Uh, what? 
what? Hmm. Ah. <coughs> uh. Oh, hello, dear. Gram, Gram. You know anything about anything? Mind if we talk? Not at all. Nah, you don't know shit. Well, gotta do go, you? Graham. Spy cat. Is it? What time of day is it? Eh, kind of hard to say. <sighs> Shinji, it's not raining. Let's go to the cemetery. Might have changed stuff. Try to call again, maybe she'll have a different plan now that she knows what's up she's up against. Hmm? in here but I'm not sure what I think I'll sleep on it and try to figure out something tomorrow okay I think that's a cue to go back to the to the thing maybe no so do we actually have to do something in here? I think I'm gonna continue this. Might as well play these, these kind of games as well. They're nice. Oh, I prefer them. Just go away. Taser. God, that would be immensely satisfying, but extremely counterproductive. Mm. Oh, oh, maybe I offer her a cigarette. Stop it! Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? Well, um... I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Coralie Cinders. Extra long. You got taste. I'll give you that. Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. Or she changed her mind really. And that's when he really realized easy. it was his own bong. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! Oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> You know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now, that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. Yeah, I should have realized this a bit earlier. Now, this here's my boy, Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. 
Hi there, big guy. He's special. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Aww. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Oh. Twin Peaks reference. Nice view of the lake from here. It's Nathan, Sue's mentally disabled son. Nice painting. It's signed L.M. Hmm. I can smell something cooking. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. Sue has nailed the tomboy look. I like it. Mm-hmm. I bet you do. So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right, anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Hmm. Interesting. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things, death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts, I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh, did he say why? Nope, but I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Hmm. Did the stranger give you his name? No. His face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray, no beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Is black Irish an actual term? Never heard before. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her, started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for hmm. 15. Man, that must be rough for you. I don't think oh, I've heard that before. Just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? 
Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. I don't need to ask. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up, and well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. Mm. Interesting. I don't need to ask. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? Interesting. A week, maybe, at the most. Um... Yeah, I was pretty tempted before, but I think we're past that now. Oh, are we? No reason to show. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this church? It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. Mm-hmm. No reason to show. No reason to. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Frame. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And. No way. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake. Charles Wade. Knows. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. What is him? Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. I'd rather just ask her about... Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I need... Need or can ask her? I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Nathan. It's getting late. Oh. Okay. Let's not talk to Nathan. Mm. Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? Hmm. I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. 
What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him. And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh, it's way too late now. No, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. Well. Hey, Kathy, wake up. Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, hacker. and... Oh, never mind. Hacker. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. What? But please, don't tell my mom. What? I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. What? What? No. Are we getting an abortion? <laughs> It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. Oh. I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna have a tiny break and then we'll play just a bit more, I think. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys in a bit.
And I should be back. Oh yes, 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 yes. I was afraid that the microphone didn't go on, but it did. Um, actually the, yeah, the clock is uh, just a tiny another moment. Yeah, sorry guys, I just had to go get some painkillers. Hmm. Okay. Oh, a note. Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is angel love, without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation, E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please, like she actually uses the space bar? <sighs> Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Um... What's her first and or Our last? Phone. Oh right, it's there. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Summers. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Okay, let's see this I'm no geek, but I know how to computer use one. then. A computer, that is. Oh. Hmm. <coughs> he summers. Angel, oh, angel, love. Oh, yay! I'm a hacker. I'm officially a hacker now. Oh, I don't know what this OS is, but it's really fancy. Just look how it animates and stuff. Flux one two one. Oh, one megabyte free. Where is that one megabyte? Hmm. Scanner is empty. I guess we have to call the hacker guy. I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. <laughs> you must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn! Wow. Just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. 
There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? He blocked the ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. Hmm. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? I know, right? Can you believe that guy? <coughs> Call yourself I a mean, hacker? It Just is. use TNG your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously don't want to know. I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, Cloudy. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. Quid quo pro. <laughs> okay. A thick white envelope. Which has a floppy disk? Okay. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, Call Clyde at 555-8181, tell him your computer crashed, and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. Hmm. Okay, well that sounds like it will lead us to a kind of a long sequence. So I think I'm gonna leave this here for tonight but um yeah i'm i'm certainly gonna continue this maybe on thursday since tomorrow is dark side thursday um yeah let's see i don't have adventure games in uh my schedule yet but yeah i wanna see where this goes anyhow for now um, I guess that's all folks, join me another time to find out if we can fool Clyde, hmm, but yeah, good night.